Stopping by my channel um, today. Oh. Yeah, it was really long because I couldn't get the case open. <laughs> so, how about that? Um, yes, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So, I am sorry if you were one of the ones that was not able to get the palette. It sold out, like, super quick. And I, I think I heard people on, or I heard, I saw people on Instagram complaining because I guess when they launched it, it launched at 12 Eastern time, like midnight Eastern time. So, it launched here. But people like on the West Coast were saying that they weren't able to get it for like another three hours. So by the time they went on to get it, like it wasn't available. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that. See, and I don't know because I went on it like I stayed up till midnight, like Eastern time and tried to order it. And it kept saying out of stock. And I said, the hell with it. I was tired. I had to, I had to work the next morning. So I was like, the heck with it. I was like, I'll get up really early the next, you know, that morning. I'll get up really early a couple hours later from midnight, yes, and I'll try ordering it again. So I think I got up at like 5, I think I was up at like 5 something close to 6, and they had it, so I was like super pumped. So I was able to order it, and then I think like days later, I'm not, I don't, I don't I'm not good with the timeline of it, they re-released it, and I think it sold out within hours, so... I don't know, so I am sorry if you were one that did not get it, hopefully they re-release it, or hopefully she realizes that there was such a demand for it that maybe she'll make it permanent instead of a limited edition. I kind of wonder if sometimes companies come out and say, oh, it's going to be limited edition. So then people go crazy over it and get it, and then they're like, just kidding, we're going to make it permanent now. Like, I wonder if that's a whole, like, business ploy. I wonder because I think like Too Faced did that with their peach palette like that was such a craze everybody wanted the peach palette and then I think it kept selling out and I got lucky with that one too I happened to walk into an Ulta and they had it on display and I was like what is that and they were like oh it, we were able to put it out like days early and I was like oh my gosh like if people online realize that I think I did get on later and made a comment about it being available at select Ulta's because this was in a small town and I don't know if they like weren't supposed to put it out and they did I don't know what the situation was but I, that's how I got my hands on that palette so anyway this really long introduction um I'm gonna I'm sure you guys have seen swatches I did swatches on my Instagram I should probably link my Instagram somewhere for you guys to easily find it That'd be a smart thing to do. So anyway, I'll have my Instagram um, listed, but I did swatches on there. Like, I did each column. So I could do it, like, really up close so you could really see the colors. But um, I'm not going to take the time and do swatches again on, on the video for that. I mean, if you want me to, leave comments and I'll do another video on that. But today I just wanted to jump right in and do an eye look using this palette. Now I haven't done anything in my face yet because I'm not sure about all the fallout so I haven't done um, my foundation or anything so let me just pin this little guy back to get that out of my face and let me zoom you in. There we go. Oh. What is this? What is this? Mmm. It just exfoliated my lips with my Lush Mint Julep. And then, you know what, let me tell you guys, that this right here is a hot mess, I don't even know. Um, I splurged on some hella expensive lip balm. I bought the, I don't have it in here, but this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream 
So I got that with um, the body wash. They had one of the, um, I don't know, what do you call it? The value pack or whatever it was where it had this full size container and the body lotion and they had one on the shelf and I snatched that up because I was like, yes, we are doing this. But anyway, they had a lip balm there. Hella expensive lip balm and I don't even know what came over me. But I was like, you know what? If my body loves this stuff, my lips are gonna love this bum, this bum bum cream uh, lip balm. It's really big though. Like it's a not a normal size lip balm. Um, hold on, let me get it. just in relation to me you know I don't know like compared to chapstick and stuff like that so it seems like a lot of product it's called Brazilian kiss but so far I'm loving it but anyway I just exfoliated my lips and I put some on but now that I went to get it I figured I'd put on some more so hmm all right, let's get into it. I think I'm just going to start off again since I'm not sure about fallout. Oh, hold on. Am I too close? Because I don't want to look down into my mirror and then you not be able to see what I'm doing. But I want you close enough so you can see my eyes. So here, let's do this. Ooh. Keezy. So sorry if I look down. It's because my mirror's... Down here, as we've talked about before, I am on. So I am just using my um, Naked Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. Ooh, that's hot. Yas! No. I've been doing that to my daughter lately just to annoy her because she does so many like teenage things to annoy me. So I, um, as of late, have been finding things that annoy her, and that is one of them. Like, and I do it really loud and embarrassing tone. I think that's like your right as a parent is that you get to do these things to your children. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, my my phone is um, my viewfinder on my camera because when I I don't know. I really don't have a good excuse for that. When I bought the camera, um, my last Sony, because I have a DSLR by Sony, um, I was really annoyed because the screen would only come off a little bit and like flip up a little bit. And I was like, well, that's pretty much useless because I'm never like hanging upside down or looking down to take a picture like under something to look in the viewfinder in that way. So when I bought this new Sony, um, I, I, I saw the screen and I knew it, it comes out, but it doesn't flip all the way around or flip out to the side to use it as a viewfinder. I absolutely love the camera, so I was like, you know what, I can make this work and I just use my phone as my viewfinder so I can see myself. So when you see me looking up, it's because I'm looking at myself to make sure I'm in frame and whatever else, I don't know. It's what I have to do, people. It's what I have to do. Okay, I feel like I took a really long time blending that out, sorry. Sorry. Hmm. You know what? Let's use. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette just to set the concealer so the eyeshadows blend nicely. So again, I haven't done anything else with my face, so, so we can get as messy as we want with this. I don't know. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling chatty today. 
Having a teenager is very frustrating, but on the other hand, absolutely love it. Because I do love hanging out with her. I do love annoying her and driving her crazy. So I was just dropping stuff. I would not change any of that. I'm sorry, there's a pug at the door. It's extremely loud. What are you doing? I get the baby down for a nap and then I have that. So sorry, 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 sorry. I try to find a quiet area in the house and I feel like every area I go into is not quiet. Okay, so let's get on with it because this video is gonna be hella long if I keep yapping. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with this first color, I believe it's called Bermuda. I'm just gonna use that all over, all over the lid, just to kind of set color down, have that transition shade. I need to move this, because this is not working for me. Here we go. Let's do that. Um, so far, you know, everything everybody says about Natasha Denona's eyeshadows blending like a dream, they weren't lying. They really were not. It's like effortless to, to put these matte shadows on and just run your brush across and it's just like, ah, they just blend. It's like they know what they're, they know what they were made to do. Whereas I put other shadows on and it's like, come on, and I'm like blending and blending and blending. And I'm like, good gracious. So yes, 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 yes. And yes, this, this palette was expensive, but, but, and you know, I'm going to go there because I am a VIB Rouge uh, member. I just happened to get my 10% off coupon right before the launch of this palette. So yes, I saved that bad mama jamma to use on this purchase so i actually got 10 percent off oh i hope that doesn't piss some of you off because you weren't able to get it at all and then i got it and got it on a discount i'm sorry i really am i truly am because that kind of shit be pissing me off like if there's something i really want and it's like i can't get it oh i get i get mad and then when people are like hey look what i got blah 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 it's like, okay, you can be happy, but you don't have to rub it in. So I, I really do. I apologize. I don't know. Uh, I think I was just trying to justify the purchase more or less. Not so much rubbing it in that I got it and you didn't. If that wasn't the case at all. I think I'm just justifying that I spent that much money on a palette, but I was able to get it on sale. So it wasn't actually the retail price. Um, now I'm going to go in with these, these colors, what is it, Sinai, just very lightly because they look like they have a lot of pigment and I'm just going to dab it. Now I'm just going to run that back and forth. Yes, like so. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at you know, I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep chatting because I don't, I don't like quiet. I mean, I love, I love quiet. Don't get me wrong, but like, quiet spots on the video. I don't know. Um, I cannot get over that girl acting a hot ass mess on the Dr. Phil show and and going off on her mama and being like, catch me outside. Do you know how much money that girl has made off of looking like a dumbass? on a show, disrespecting her mother like that. That's what's wrong with our world. Like, that is so messed up. Like, I bet she has made, like, so much off that phrase. So many people are, like, saying it and getting on her. And yes, I'm guilty. I joke around with, you know, at home or whatever. 
telling my daughter or my husband, I'm like, catch me outside. Catch me outside, how about that? Because it's so dumb. Like, it's so dumb, but... Oh, gosh, I don't know. But that's what... I don't know. Apparently, that's what we feed off of, so... We gave her all that attention. Now was her phrase. Where am I? I can never find my flat eyeshadow brushes when I need them. And I only have like six of them. Six. I mean, that's being sarcastic. I probably have more than that. Here's one. So, I really, really... Hmm. What do I want to do? I really want to use... I think I'm going to go in with this gold color. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. All bade. I feel so stupid. I'm going to go in with this one right here. And actually... Before I do that, I know some of these... Um, Glittery colors, do you do get fallout with them? So I'm actually going to apply some glitter glue so I can save every bit of that glittery shadow that I can. Cause like I said, this is hella expensive palette. So we don't just throw that stuff away. Oh God. I hope I'm not going out of frame on you guys because I'm um, looking down. This stuff is wonderful. If you like glitter and you like, just if you like glitter, I really suggest the glitter glue. Too Faced. Okay, okay. Let's go in with that color. You know what? Let's see. I'm not sure what it's going to do on the brush because I know a couple of the other palettes when you swatch them with your finger like they're insane they're beautiful but then when you try to put them on with um a brush on the eye it just it doesn't it doesn't do well for them so I think let's see I don't know I'll try it Let's see what happens. Oh gosh, I'm not in frame. Hold on. Let me zoom you out. Sorry if this is like super annoying. Very light. I wonder if I pick it up on my finger. See, look at that. Like, look at that pigment. Come on on the tip of my finger, but then you see how I just applied it. I mean, come on now, look at that. So, you know, and they do, she does, Natasha Denona does say on the little instructions, how to use, you know, apply with the finger. Damn, that lady knows what she's talking about. Look at that. Can you see? Cause obviously I'm closing my eyes. Gosh, I'm so. There you go. Can you can you see that? That is beautiful. I should have had a little bit more coffee this morning. A little bit more caffeine, don't you think? Oh gosh, no, no, no caffeine. I love my morning coffee. I don't know about you guys, but like, there's days more often than not, like, I set my coffee pot the night before. Um, I need to find a good spot to sit because I feel like I'm zooming in and out, but like I look down and then you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just taking my finger and pressing this color all over that inner corner. See that? But I don't know. I set my coffee in the pot the night before and I genuinely get excited. Like thinking about that nice 
hot, hot, yummy cup of coffee. Mmm, I get so excited. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this color here. Eat this called Morgana. 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 What's that from? What's that from? <laughs> I want to say like Lord of the Rings, but that's not. Is it the Eye of Morgana? Is that what it's from? Oh gosh, where's my husband when I need him? Or my phone? It's up there, being a viewfinder for my hella expensive camera that didn't come with one. Oh, such problems, right? So I am just, I'm taking this color on a brush and just pressing that on. I don't know. I honestly think let me try to switch it. Maybe if I bring this up like this. Can you guys see better like that? I'll find out when I'm editing and see how bad I drive you guys crazy. Oh my gosh, like I, I, I am in love with that. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go in with a darker color though on that outer corner. I think now, hmm, I think I'm going to go in with this, um, I believe it's called Volcano, Volcano, Oops, sorry, I'm going to go in with this one right here, just a little, just a little dabity dab. Just right on that right on the very outer corner. Can you guys see this? Oh my gosh, the, the, how they blend. It's so freaking beautiful and it's so damn easy. Oh my gosh, like my two year old could do it. Like, I really need to give Natasha Denona props on these shadows. She is like the shiznit. People even use that word anymore. I don't even know. I, don't, I guess I really don't care either. Because what comes out of my mouth is typically, I don't know, whatever comes out of my mouth. Sometimes my mouth is a lot faster than my brain. I am going to say that now. I mean, what? What is this? What is this crazy, hella amazing eyeshadows? Um, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go back in with that. Um, this color right here. Just very lightly because I'm going to put that on that. Put that on the lower lash line. And you, you don't even need to be heavy handed dipping your brush. These have so much pigment to them. I'm just gonna blend that out. So I just grabbed a, a fluffier brush. 
Just so I can blend. Sorry, Paris, Kentucky was calling me. I don't know what that was. I don't know. We had such weird calls. So I went back in with that color um, volcano, and I'm just ever so lightly, ever so lightly blending. Oh, Probably gonna have to touch that part up after I do the rest of my makeup. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do here now is take a little bit of this gold color and I'm going to press that into the inner corner. Let's see how this works for me. ever so lightly just tapping that in to the inner corner wow look at that okay so i don't want this video to be insanely long so i'm gonna go off camera and do my foundation i'm probably gonna do a winged liner and apply some lashes and i will be right back So, let's see. Oh, there you go. Wow. Um, so this is the finished look. Yeah, I just got really high pitched. Oh, look at my look. Um, no. So th this is the finished look using that palette. I just went ahead and did my foundation. Oh my gosh, like. One day I'll show you my chaos of a mess. It's a mess over here. And then I wonder why I can't find anything. Anyway, I did um, my foundation using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. Um, I used my Roller Lash by Benefit. I used my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. And then I used the Velour Lashes from the Fluff and Thick Collection. Mama knows best. You know it. Cause she does. Your mama knows best in most cases. Your mama knows best. At least, that's what I tell my children. I know best. Kills me. And then um, I used the Becca Chrissy Teigen face palette for my highlight, my blush, and my contour. Um, if you guys, I, I don't know. This is just another one that I suggest. It beautiful. I, this color looks really dark, but when I went into the store and swatched it, because you know, you want to make sure that um, a palette that you can use the majority of the products out of it, or colors or whatever products in the palette, and it looked really dark and I was like, that is not going to work for me. It doesn't. Even the, even the blush looks really dark. But, I mean, I have it on today and it's not. And that's good because you can build it up. But it doesn't go on like, like clown makeup. So, I hope you guys can see this. I don't know. I kind of want to call this like Tequila Sunrise Eyes. I don't know why this reminds me. I think it's a Tequila Sunrise. Gosh, once, it, once upon a time when I was a bartender. Mm, it's been that long ago. Isn't it a tequila sunrise? And it's got like the different colors when you layer it. Because you got like the orange juice, the cranberry juice. Um, I don't know. I know there's no red in there, but whatever. I like the way it sounds. So, I don't know. I'll figure out what to call this video, what to call this eye look. But... That is the look using the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. 
Haha, -ha, so it's a sunset palette and I was gonna call this a sunrise. That's a little glimpse into my life, the simplicity of things that I think of. So anyway, that's my face. So um, thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Leave me comments below, constructive criticism as always, um, negativity and being mean, I don't wanna hear it. So don't bother, I'm not wasting your time, so don't waste mine. I don't make you watch my videos. You click on them, you watch them, whatever. Oh. Gosh, and I used the, um, I always forget my lips. I used the Melted Matte in Child's, um, by Too Faced, Child Star on my lips. So that's that. So, bye.